Yo, what up? It's Baxter, and we are back with a death battle preview. Venom. Venom. Now, I am so pumped for this next death battle. Like, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time. Hands down. I'm a Spider-Man fiend. So anything that has to do with Spider-Man is a big deal for me. Um, he's facing Bane. It doesn't matter who he was facing. I would be going for Venom. 110%. So let's just check out a little bit of what they have to say. The word symbiosis refers to two organisms living in beneficial harmony, such as when two beings bond over an obsessive, psychotic desire to kill Spider-Man. Eddie Brock was an up-and-coming journalist on the brink of national success when life decided to just shit all over him. One day, Eddie published an article incriminating a man he thought was a serial killer. However, that very same day, Spider-Man caught the real killer, publicly shaming Eddie. As a result, Eddie's company fired him, his father disowned him, and his wife left him. Also, he had cancer. Damn, talk about a bad day. Man, I didn't even know that. Pretty upset about it. Eddie blamed Spider-Man for... I claim to be a big fan. I didn't even know that. ...meeting with a weird black gooey alien. Remember Gag from the 90s? It's just like that, except alive and evil. Hurtin'. This was a symbiote from the planet Clintar, an alien species... I didn't like Spider-Man 3. ...to grow stronger by fusing with a living host. I know that sounds intimidating and almost parasitic, but the Quintar people are naturally a peaceful race. However, they often inherit their host's traits and personality. This symbiote in particular had previously bonded with a violent alien bent on genocide and a costume superhero everybody knows as Deadpool. That crazy lunatic? Oh, there's no way this symbiote is sane after yeah. that. It wasn't. Afterward, it bonded with Spider-Man, who experienced this rage and lunacy firsthand. Horrified by this, Spider-Man eventually discarded the symbiote. Unaware, the alien had determined Spidey was its ideal host and became obsessed with him. Much like Bar Trash Cindy that sometimes you go home with but never really want to see her again. So what do you get when you combine an angry man and a black goo monster both hatefully obsessed with the same guy? Most just call him Venom. Did you know, Eddie came up with the name Venom because he felt he was spewing Venom from the tabloids he worked at. Seriously? Uh, I give that origin a 3 out of 10. Thank God that's <laughs> cool at least, and Venom's abilities are even cooler. He's insanely strong, ridiculously agile, and has a fast-paced healing factor. He can power through bullets with no problem at all. Plus, the symbiote carries some of the abilities of its previous owners, including Spidey. That means he can climb on walls and shoot webbing strong enough that Spidey himself can't break through. Technically speaking, Venom simply reproduces the webbing effects via one of his more useful powers, shape-shifting. This symbiote can act as a liquid, allowing it to increase Venom's size for intimidation, or even mimic Eddie's everyday clothing for discretion. Well, that would be handy. You could change your outfit on the fly and you wouldn't even ever have to put on clothes. Actually, the clothes I'm wearing right now are my own symbiote prototype I've been working on. Naturally, of course. Really? Well, those things are weak to sound, right? So what happens if someone's too loud? Like this loud! Oh, no, oh don't, my don't, god, don't. why did I do that? Stop! Oh my god! I can never unsee! Oh, where's the bleach? I need it for my eyes! I'm so sad! <clears throat> uh, well, oh, uh, come back next week and, and we'll give you the rundown on Venom's opponent, Bane. Oh god! Nice. Man, some of that stuff I didn't even know. I always wondered why Venom swings around the city like Spider-Man when he's got powers. I was like, why doesn't he just, I don't know, get away some di a different type of way. <clears throat> but that's why. That's why. And I didn't know the symbiote had, like, that origin and stuff. I only, I've only seen, like, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon and then, like played the video games and all that. I haven't read, like, the comics or anything, so I don't know, like, everything about Spider-Man and Spider-Man Universe. 
But, uh, Venom, let's go. He better beat Bane. I swear to God. I will be so rattled if he loses to Bane. I know, I know Bane's not going to be a pushover, like, obviously, but. <sighs> let's go. Hey, like, if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.